Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a couple of different complexo sounds. And uh, the first sound is going to be like one of those dead mass kind of sounds. I mean, although all this stuff's not complexo, it's going to be one of those uh, sounds that's like this. And then uh, just the best way to follow me through it is, is pause the video because. I'm going to be going through every little detail, all of the details and all the parts through the sound so you guys can copy it and get the best quality for it. Uh, and then the second sound, which is kind of popular in what I do with my sounds in Complexo, is I take one sound, one bass, for example this sound, and you just modulate or <clears throat> change different parts inside of the sound, like make the sound wider, tweak little things so that sounds blend together and sound uh, smooth in the loop that you're going to make. Okay, so how do we make this sound? So, uh, first oscillator, pulse saw. We're going to come back to this later, so don't worry about this for now. Just uh, put the position to about there, the width all the way up, amp all the way up, and bring it all the way up to filter one. <clears throat> for the second oscillator, I'm going to be using a multiplex. Weight position at 12 o'clock, intensity a little above uh, 3 o'clock, and amp right there, all the way up to filter one. Pitch at zero, pitch at zero. We're, like I said, we're going to come back to this, so don't worry about that. And make sure you change this to minus plus for the bend. Uh, oscillator three, going to be using Woody and bend plus. Oh, turn the amp to about there. Intensity 12 o'clock, weight position there. All the way up to filter one. Uh, no modulation, white noise a little bit. You can add more if you want, but personally, I think it sounds better without it. So I didn't touch this. Uh, I raised the feedback a drop and didn't use any inserts at all. Uh, we're going to come to the filters in a sec. Uh, first for the effects. Uh, dimension expander. I wanted to add a little bit of width. What, what the dimension expander does is add size and width to the beat or to the sound. So just copy those settings. I didn't want to add too much. In the chorus I wanted to add more life to it. Just uh, dry wet a little over there, right there, don't even touch the depth of the offset. So just copy those settings. And for the EQ, uh, what I did was I rose the high shelf and took out a little bit of low because it's a very uh, bassy sound and you want to take that out. I mean you could not even use EQ and use it uh, separately with an external VST or uh, audio effect. So um, basically uh, for filter one, it's your option to use this. For filter one, we have uh, the low pass, low pass four. Bring the volume all the way up, mix all the way up. Turn filter two's volume down, turn it off. Uh, bring the cutoff all the way up, resonance right there. And uh, that should be your basic settings for the sound, okay? So now let's go into all the little details. If your thing is at zero for the pitch bend, click and drag it up to 12. Click and drag down to minus 12. Um, you can leave it the envelope there and bring the decay up. Let's hear how it sounds. Okay. For uh, leave the line like that. That's all. I didn't touch that. Voicing. I have uh, four voices. Just raise it up to unison up to four, monophone, trigger always. Uh, you want to make the sound wider a little bit, so click uh, on right there and drag it drop to the right. <clears throat> now you don't even have to because we have the dimension expander on and lower the mass a little bit because it was clipping. There you go. Uh, routing settings, copy them. Global, didn't touch. Okay. So LFO5, next thing we're going to do, we're going to click this uh, s s uh, sound wave right there and you're going to click and drag it right to the middle or like a little to the left, however, that's fine. Actually drag it a little more to the left. Uh, bring the ratio to 1-1. One, one. Bring the decay up. Actually bring it back. Okay. Uh, for now you're going to click and drag uh, right click off click and drag 
and make sure the green part's all the way, almost all the way down, so right there. And now for uh, the last part of the sound, envelope four, just copy. You can either click and drag it till it looks like that, or just to copy these settings so it's similar to mine. And you can honestly add a little attack to it so it doesn't make that pop sound like right before the sound. So. <laughs> that's how you make that sound. Now, uh, let's say you want to make another sound to go with this dead mouse sound, as I have it labeled. Uh, something you can do is, what you can do is you can just change the LFO, that's what I normally do. So let's change it to 116, let's see. I like the sound of that. So 124th, let's put it. Uh, Let's add some more pitch to this. Let's put a macro. So let's call it, click there, click pitch, click the compass, click and drag up to 24. What's that? So two octaves. So now we have to click back an oscillator tab and raise the pitch bend up two octaves. Or you can bring this down, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> pitch goes up. So a really sick sound through that. And you can even bring the voices back down, make it a little wider, pan back and forth. And another thing, let's try this. Let's bring this back down to minus 12. just mess with the little settings like I changed these but both the spectrum brought the octave down on the woody and just mess with the pitch you can modulate like that see how sick of a sound this is so just keep taking different sounds save them don't forget to save save as different sounds and uh, you can make a lot of different cool complex sounds through uh, massive so be sure to check out my page, subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with a new dubstep song within the next week, releasing it. A uh, complex show song, too. And uh, just keep, like my Facebook page, SoundCloud, follow me, and uh, message me on Twitter, tweet me, give me some feedback, comments, suggestions. And uh, thanks a lot.